Looks like I've got Pastor Robert White right now. And tell me, what is the plan for tonight? You talked with community leaders about how to keep this area safe. The plan tonight is that, that we're going to make sure that the people in the community are going to be safe. We're taking it up on ourselves. We've put our tax dollars to rent to, out in front of us. That didn't work. So now we're going to put our bodies in the way. So what do you mean put your bodies in the way? Uh, we have a game plan that we primarily won't share with you. But the, the primary plan is that men will come together. There's black men, white men. There's Jews. There's Christians. There's Muslims. We've gathered together and we decided that it's not going to happen again on our watch. So you're talking about a show of force tonight to keep these looters at bay? A show of u unity, and I don't want to use the word force, but a show of unity of us coming together. Because one thing we're sick about is we're seeing the national people come in and leave. We see the local people who only show up during the daytime. But we need people who can be out there in the middle of the night stopping the violence, stopping the looting, and being here for the long haul. You know, about 15 minutes ago, you saw me interviewing Reverend Jesse Jackson, and he was talking about why he was here in St. Louis. And it sounds like you have a problem with him being here. The, the problem I have with the national figures coming in and out is that what we really need is resources. What we really need is paychecks to help fund the people who are on the ground doing the work. And whether it's Reverend Jackson, whether it's Al Sharpton, whether it's any of those guys, whether it's any of the local preachers, any of the local leaders who are only come out when the lights are on. We need people who want to come out in the middle of the night who's out there that's going to protect these businesses and protect these communities. So do you feel that Reverend Sharpton and Reverend Jackson are only here for a photo op? Is that what you're saying? I, I, I will, will say that. Absolutely. They've been here. They've had photo ops and the violence is continuing. We, we hope, we were hoping that they were coming in with strategies and game plans to prevent it because they have the history and they've been involved over the years. But right now we saw them riding on a motorcycle smiling. I can't remember the last time there was a fun time for somebody's losing their life.